Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Callan. Flurry is also here to say hello to you, which I absolutely love. Last time we had a little makeover, so my character looks a tiny bit different now. Um, I'm still debating on the eyebrows. Um, some of you have also said that it might just be like a little bit too dark, so I'll see. Maybe I'll make them a little bit lighter. And then I also had Chrissy bring over some more items that we might be able to use for this island that I think might be really cute. Maybe not necessarily with this dress, but I got the do-rag. I also got the straw boater. <gasps> that actually is very pretty. Wait, we used to wear like the white one, right? Oh, I like the blue one also. Okay, I also got uh, the sailor's hat because I think I might want to go like a little bit more coastal. I feel like we've been abandoning the coastal a little bit here and there. Um, this might be a tiny bit much. But I did get the sailor's hat in all three colors, and I also got the straw border in white. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, um, so we'll see. I kind of like this one, but then I feel like we need to wear, like, a different dress. And I also did get the sailor uh, collar dress, which I know some of you have also said I should maybe think about getting. Honestly, also really cute. This is super, I feel like this is really, like, coastal and, and, and cute, but I'm... I have a feeling it doesn't quite fit with like the surrounding parts that we've decorated. Like maybe it's not, maybe it's not romantic enough or maybe our island is not coastal enough. Either of those two uh, are a possibility. I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe there's something here that fits like even better with the hat though. Because I mean like most of this, most of this blue is not quite fitting. We could like go for, I feel like that's all like too light in a way, right? I'm not sure if like maybe we'll have to go and find like a different uh, a different dress or something maybe. Um, and I, you know, we, we probably could also check Able Sisters. I have a feeling they're probably going to sell like some more amazing stuff that we could also just purchase, you know, like more fitting dresses, maybe like an in-game dress. I mean, we don't have to wear like a custom design, right? Um, I'm not sure if like, you know, spontaneously I've got anything like that because I really don't. Like my my dress selection is not the best. Anyway, that is not what I wanted to do today. Today, I wanted to focus on our neighborhood. You might remember that in one of the last episodes, I, <laughs> okay, um, I did actually kind of, you know, think about moving the uh, houses here a little bit. Um, so, because I feel like while a lot of this is okay -ish so far, um, and I, I think I might want to keep the distance. Um, I definitely want to move these houses here on the outside. A little bit further in I think we might just be able to get away with like maybe one tile um, so I think we'll start like doing that and then maybe also trying to map out like a little bit of the pathing um, okay so let's see this is Pate and then the other side is Alice right I think Alice is our farm girl yes also these houses aren't customized I believe um, the next time we'll see each other, we've just started the episode today, but the next time we will see each other, by the way, will be Monday, uh, which will be our full week of Let's Play episodes. Basically, that just means there's going to be like a new Let's Play episode every single day of that week, and I put together kind of a list of what I would like to do those days, so it all kind of, um, you know, is, is, is kind of versatile. We don't do the same thing every single day. Uh, and yeah, I, but I really want to do it because I think that it'll help kind of make some progress in our let's play All right, let's start maybe with Alice on the right hand side Um, yeah, we can make some progress in the in the let's play and I also actually thought about maybe doing this again And at the end of September, maybe yeah So like day after day there will be like a new episode and we'll finally get a look a little bit of work done I've been sitting down and going back through the, D the DLC. I keep wanting to say DLC actually I mean the let's play of course, but I'm going through the let's play because I would like to have this one uh, video where I kind of like summarize the entire progress so far and do a, like a day by day recap of some sorts. And it's been kind of interesting to see the progress. Like, I mean, my opinion changes so much. It is kind of uh, kind of wild, but you know, that's also okay because I, I feel like that's just kind of normal when it comes to Animal Crossing Islands. Okay, we need to move it completely out of the way first before we can actually move it to where we want it, which is kind of annoying. But so I'll plop it like back here, maybe. Uh, yep, let's just put Alice's kit here. That's totally fine. And then I believe we're gonna have to make some adjustments when it comes to like the surrounding uh, farm as well. Um, and also, oh wait, there's our vine. 
and um, maybe like the farm in front of it won't be able to to be put like this any uh, anymore again. And I think anymore because yeah, that can't be anything planted, which is like this. And then I would also probably I would probably just remove it though because um you know we need to be able to go to like Daisy's house and if I if I bring this much further to the left side like we're not going to be able to go to Daisy's house at all um maybe should we like switch on, uh, switch the pumpkins and the and the potatoes cuz we're going to have much more space here now but then I kind of ah, we'll see we'll see we'll get Alice's house moved and then go from there and then I just wanted to briefly check so we've got this incline here right which is coming from nook's cranny which I was definitely thinking about closing this entire section off is that correct I think that is correct um I think I might want to do that um and then I feel like I had the idea of because we need like we almost need like a better lookout for like the neighborhood it kind of would be cute to have like a bridge going here, like a diagonal bridge. I think I've just been using like wooden bridges though, right? Oh my god, T-Bone with the glasses. Had to sit down in a different way apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like we've got the water coming from this side here. I was just thinking of connecting that and having like a bridge, but then that's not going to make it like that's... We're not going to be able to go higher up. Okay, let's get Alice's house moved and then move to the right spot. And then we'll kind of judge this situation again, I think. Okay, it is the next day. But before we actually just check it out, I'm going to get Alice's plot right back. And, uh, you know, so we can we can put it into place right away. Oh my god, look at that. Dottie is doing some yoga. Very fitting for her character, I will say. All right, Nook, we need to talk to you again. Let's go. Let's move this house. Ah, oh, Moline, hello. This is the construction consult consultation counter, as if I don't know that. <laughs> there are a number of things we can discuss. I would like to have some layout changes. Uh, and then let's talk about um, an island home and we will move Alice again. I'm sure she'll be thrilled having to move her entire house, uh, you know. <gasps> oh no, Alice is sick! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh no! Oh, she's getting... Oh no, she's she's messing up our plans. Listen, poor Alice, you know, but also mm, things to do, stuff to decorate, you know? Okay, we'll talk to... No, actually, wait, we won't talk to Daisy. Hold on, that's wrong. We'll talk to Pate. Gosh, that completely threw me off. I was like, wait, my plan is not working out? Excuse me? <laughs> um, alright, I would like to have some layout changes still. We'll just talk to someone else, I guess. Pate, how about you? <laughs> oh no, I I didn't expect this to happen. Alrighty, Pate, let's go. At first, I thought I messed up like the plot placing or something, and it kind of like didn't uh it didn't change anything. It was gonna be like, oh no, we're still like moving something. We can't. This is not a good time right now. Um, but no, I've got someone who's actually sick. Since the matter of moving is now settled, I'll take that construction fee now. Yes, no worries. We've reached a point where we don't care about money anymore. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that I do not have medicine in my uh, in my storage. Hi, Flick. I don't have anything for you, I think. Um, so we'll go and quickly purchase some medicine, I guess. Oh, and Flurry is also shopping today. Okay, hello. Do we have anything cute? Mm, I mean, not bad things, but I don't think there's anything I necessarily need for now. Okay, um, let me maybe purchase some medicine. Actually quite expensive. I remember in Wild World, I always used to think this was very expensive. So like whenever like wasps, I never took medicine when wasps stung me, even back then when, I don't know, there wasn't much to do, you know? Now I ignore it and I just continue decorating. But like in Wild World, I couldn't decorate. It was like all I could focus on was my my face being swollen from the, from the bees, you know? Okay, so we've got Pate's house. Um, which honestly, we could just maybe plop here for for a second, um, just to get it out of the way, you know. And uh, and then we'll move it to the right spot right after. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then let's check in on Alice because you know we want her to feel better, but we also do want, we, we do want to move that house also. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Alice, honey, how you doing? 
Oh, hello. Alice, what's going on? Oh no, what happened? I'm so sorry. I'm f feeling kind of awful right now. Um, take this medicine. Oh, you're so thoughtful. You pr probably went out of your way to pick this up. Uh, yeah, I actually did. <laughs> you're, wel you're welcome though. Wow, I think this will do the trick. I think I'm gonna be okay now. As thanks for your kindness, here's a floral lace dress. Her nose like already is red, right? But then it was so much more red when she was when she was sick just a second ago. Alrighty. Oh, okay. And also let's check what this is. Oh, now my villager is gifting me like mint stuff now that I've started. Or like the shop also had like a mint item. Now that I've started like a mint a mint island. A minty minty kid core island. <laughs> oh gosh, poor Alice. But you know what? She is doing better uh, already, and she'll be she'll be back to 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 normal and to perfect tomorrow. Oh wait, a rock has spawned? No, not the way that we want it to spawn, though, right? Um, I really need to work on like the so annoying with all the climbing. I need to make, <laughs> I need to make the flow of this island a little bit better in terms of just like implementing like an incline. Um, and also, I just want to quickly check before we time travel. I placed the plot, right? Yeah. Um, before we time travel, I just want to maybe see if I can find my message in a bottle. Um, maybe we'll find like a cutesy item. Oh, we still got some crops over here. The beach is now completely empty. It has been for a while, but I'm just now like... All the houses are implemented. Yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh. See, I'm so used to like my beaches being cluttered up with like houses that I still need to implement. That was kind of a... That was kind of a moment for me to realize that. Um, I don't know. I've been thinking about maybe if like I'm making this too romantic, in in like in the sense of like too pink. If I'm actually making one of my islands too pink, and I need to lean more towards like that white and blue. I think we might do like a code upgrading at some point in the future. I want to keep like the main pathings and such. But um, I, I kind of want to change my fabric codes, maybe to some more like coastal stuff, like striped things. The shell arch, I already know that. Dang it. Dang it. Hi, Dottie. How are you doing today? Good morning, wee one. Uh, let's chat. I was like way into this walk, and then it started to get boring, and then I found you, and it's fab again. Why, thank you. I really appreciate it. Let's go shopping. See, I just told you I was going to try and be more productive and get some stuff done. And I've been saying that for the past, I don't know how many episodes, but there's so many things you can get distracted by, you know? And and then and then if you, oh, see, there's also something mint. Um, it's also just that I notice it right now. Um, and then once you kind of like, uh, if you just play like once per day or so, there's so many things that you can do each day, you know? <laughs> All right, I don't really think there's anything here that I want to pick up for right now. Nah, that was a bit of a bust, I think. Oh, dance shoes. Wow, okay. <laughs> All right, no, no. I I not a big fan of that of that uh selection. All right, let's time travel to the next day so that Daisy's house is also moved out of the way and then we will fix up our neighborhood. <laughs> Okay, houses are moved out of the way, so we will go back and return to Resin Services, and then we'll try the moving Alice thing again. Oh my god, look at... So cute. We do have some really cute villagers on this island, I will say that. I know that our, I think our lineup ended up a little bit differently to what I had initially planned, but I'm honestly very happy with, with them. Okay, I've got Alice's plot. I decided to kind of skip the uh, dialogue for the Let's Play because... I, we've all heard that dialogue so many times by now, you know, so it's whatever. <laughs> all right, I think this is kind of what I wanted, yes. Let me do this as the new spot for for Alice. We'll definitely have to adjust the little farmy bits around it. Oh, hi Daisy. <laughs> you cutie. Um, yeah, and then I just very quickly, I just want to open up the island designer and I just want to look at what this would be like if there was like an elevated cliff or something. Because like we might also just add something for for viewing purposes, but then also that's kind of that's kind of weird, right? Why? <laughs> All right, there we go. 
Now let's put a vine here and climb up. Yeah, not gonna lie, that would look pretty fantastic. As compared to like just down here. I don't know how to do that though without it being like super weird. Or like, do we just do like a second, second tier thing here and like you immediately go up another staircase? I mean, I feel like maybe that wouldn't be the worst. And then you would go up here and you kind of go, go down again towards like the neighborhood or something. That would make it look much more cozy, I think. And like give you a nicer overview over that farm also. Do you think maybe we should do that? So it's kind of like, it, it, it got, I guess it kind of like circles around. We can just make all of this a cliff. I don't know how loud the construction is today. It, I think it was fine, but I feel like they're picking up now. So if you hear anything super loud, I apologize for that. Um, It's kind of like here in a way, you know? And so, yeah, it would just have like a tiny pathway over to to Alice's house. You know, and you would kind of go down here and and then like walk to Alice's house. We really need to change that farm. I feel like maybe we will change the um, the stuff, but then I, I don't know, because like this is like green and white. You know, the mom cushions are also going to be white. So this is green and white. And then if this is green and white, but then the potatoes are here, I think that's like a weird distribution of colors, you know? Because like all of this is green and white, but then the pot the potumpkins, the potatoes are so not white, they're so brown. I felt like it was kind of good to have them like in the middle there, you know, because then it makes it makes it look like normal. I don't know. Or we have to like move the pumpkin farm like further back or something so the path kind of just circles in front of the house and then over here and then this can stay like pota um, potatoes. We also will just have to like increase the number of potatoes honestly. Okay let's get Alice's house to be built and I'll see you again with uh, Daisy's house kit I think. Oh my god. That was that was a that was a bit cursed, not gonna lie. They all like changed their outfit at the very same time. Oh, because they all want to work out together. Dottie is giving them a class. Oh, that's so freaking cute. And then Gala's just like, I don't know, I don't really care about sports. I just want to fish. <laughs> um, also, did I by the way, did I say Daisy again? Because I meant Pate. I did get Pate's plot. I did not mess that up, uh, luckily. So Pate's plot would have to go, like, here. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Here? Yeah, more like this. Let me imagine that. Yes, okay. Uh, seems like a good spot, yep. Okay. Um, I was just thinking about, because like, we've got a lot of, I don't want all this cliff to be a, like second tier. Is this second tier or is this first tier? I always get confused. I always just say like upstairs and downstairs because I'm so confused. I just really want to have like a good lookout over this, over this uh, spot right here, you know? Like, I mean, that just kind of... That's like a good layout, you know? I think this is now a good layout. But you know what, who's who's saying we can't do, we can't do uh, cliffs? I don't know who said that. I don't know why I'm so hesitant about putting a cliff here. Like why not, you know? You could have this kind of like, almost like a caged in type of neighborhood. I did not plan on doing landscaping today, you know? But um, I, I, here I am. The only thing that might be like a little bit awkward is the multiple inclines that we'll have in one spot on the map, but we already have like a bridge course spot also, so I don't know if it really matters or maybe this is just fine. How much room do I have here? Okay. Because we would definitely, well, we need like room for an incline, but I also have a feeling we might need to move further up 
and curve like around Pate's house. Um, and then I'm not sure if how like how far this cliff continues because I know that we wanted to have a cliff like behind Daly's house. Well, first of all, we need to fill this in, but then I'm pretty sure we wanted to have another cliff there for the museum. Uh, that's a lot of landscaping. Holy crap. Okay. Or does it not wrap around, but it's just to like one side? Maybe it's just to one side. I'm sorry. I keep changing my opinion a lot, but um, I'm not gonna lie. That is me when decorating. Um, I didn't expect to have these ch like challenges today. I, I know that I wanted to build out this cliff a little bit more and that tutu sitting on the cauliflower. Cute. Um, but then maybe we don't connect it. We leave it somewhat open-ish. So there's like a cliff on like both sides of the incline almost. Maybe with like a little bit of room for trees. And then it kind of connects over here. With like a good enough spot to stand there, it will like block the view from like from the incline to the to the neighborhood. But maybe that's okay. So you can just walk like in between, and then somewhere, somewhere else, there's gonna be like an incline. Maybe let's try that. All right. So I'm gonna bring up this cliff. I need to kind of curve it inward so that you don't immediately smack into the cliff coming from the incline. Uh, so maybe like, maybe like this. Maybe you still kind of smack into it. <laughs> maybe that's okay. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that's fine. Yeah, honestly, it might be fine. Might be fine. All right. Um, all right. And then the next curved bit is going to be like here, maybe. So kind of like this. So we don't put it exactly towards the front here so that we can still have like a few trees. And so it's, it's asymmetrical, right? There's gonna be like a cliff on the right hand side, but there's gonna be like trees and fillers on this left hand side here. More or less. It kind of also depends because like this cliff right now is very, very narrow and small still. So it might have to be changed so does it doesn't look as like weird. Okay, um, if I bring over some more cliff here, then we've got a right angle here, which I don't love. So we're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to change some stuff for that. Maybe like this? Maybe like this. I'm definitely gonna add like vines. I think vines always like help a ton. Um, with like making cliffs like look prettier uh, in general. And then we obviously need to fill all this in. Is this cliff gonna be too narrow? Is that gonna be annoying? Also, we should check out the way that it actually looks from upstairs because if this doesn't give us like a good overview, then we're not gonna, we're not gonna like keep it this way anyways, you know? And vine, Let, let's climb up please, thank you. Actually, that's kind of nice. Like if we actually make that here a corner that you can stand in, maybe that still kind of gives you a good view of it. Yeah. Any anything for good for good view, you know, <laughs> anything for a good view. Um, how, how much of the view does it obstruct if you walk here? Actually, kind of fine. Um, right. We just need to be able to curve it nicely which might give us some issues. Because like now there's a, a ton of stuff here that's not prettily curved. This might be like the incline though. We could have like the incline going straight down here. Uh, how many tiles wide is an incline? I have absolutely no idea actually. But maybe like here, you know? Not that many, not that many tree spaces available at that point, but um, that's fine. Okay, and then these would have to definitely be rounded. 
And maybe this doesn't have to be. Uh, or maybe this this can just be. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, and then from here on out, like that will continue. That cliff will continue to curve upwards, I guess. So I think it'll be curved here. And then go like further. Maybe one more curve exactly the same way. So there, there might possibly be some tree placement spot thingies, like this. And then it'll kind of curve like this. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this on the map, to be honest. Not gonna lie, that is not the prettiest I've ever done. <laughs> that is definitely not the prettiest that I've ever landscaped before, but you know, it, it, mm, anything for a pretty view, am I right? Maybe that tiny cliff can be smaller even, like maybe we'll just remove this part and then curve it like this and then maybe that'll already be fine. I'm not saying that's going to look better on the map at all, by the way, but, um... It still gives you a good view. Yeah. It still kind of gives you a good view. It still probably doesn't look great on the map. I also think that maybe we just have to make it, um... Yeah, considering how... How little cliff there is here, we need to curve this upwards. Like... No, like upwards, you know, like close to the house upwards, kind of. So let's say there's not going to be room for trees here. It's fine, though. We've already kind of abandoned those when it came to Dottie's place. So maybe it's this. It's the same here as well. Maybe that's OK. Maybe Pate will just move like against this cliff. Or the cliff will just be shaped up against Pate's house more like because Pate, Pate's plot is already there, you know? You know, and then this will follow the curve of our downstairs cliff. See, there's the downstairs again. Yeah, I need to add some more stuff so I can actually curve this. Kind of like this here. And then curve. Yep. You know, because anything else, this is already going to be like a pretty thin cliff. Uh, yeah, no, that was correct. I was like, wait, thin cliff. That's correct though, right? Oh my god. See, it is, it is, it's not even that late and my brain's already, already not working. Maybe this will be like a kind of a land bridge. Maybe. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure that we still needed to decide what to do um for like a few areas surrounding that view out look spot type thing lookout area that we've done in the back which we also need to finish which i think we'll do next week um so that's good all right i mean it's kind of same shape honest obviously as downstairs because i'm following that that um kind of line so i'm i'm not sure it's like the perfect cliff but, um, it might be cute from, from downstairs. It might be cute if you stand in, like, a corn speed place and you kind of look up and there's going to be, like, cliffs. And there's going to be, obviously, like, trees, at least on the bottom level. So that's kind of good. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see. So, this will have to be a path, which will kind of give the impression of almost like a little landscape. A uh, land bridge, sorry. Um... Which, you know, was not my intention at first, but, like, why not, also? Okay, let's move this here. God, I need to be careful not to build myself in. Sometimes I wish I could just do, like, the line out for, um, or not the line. Why am I such a... Oh, I have such issues with words today. An outline. An outline for a cliff, and then I should, could just, like, click a button and have it, like, filled in. Um, because I feel like I'm, I'm quite, I, I quite like the outline, uh, shaping. Like, that part I actually kind of enjoy. I don't enjoy the, just the, the numb, like, mind, 
N the mind numbing dirt shoveling, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because like if we c if we connect this this cliff here all the way over to this part, I feel like I want to keep this open to have like a certain area or something. And then the other thing was, you know, the fact that we wanted to have a cliff behind Daly's house. So I'm kind of like questioning if if maybe that's too much cliff. And then there's going to be like, what, two spaces here? Or like, is this all going to be connected? There's just going to be this like... Nah, but then you can't go from like the museum to anywhere else. All right, well, how many inclines do we have? We need to do like some incline planning at this point. Um, we have one, two, three, four so far. Okay, so it would technically work. Because so we'll have one going up to the cliff that we just built right in front of Pate's house, like right here, which will bring us to five. Now, if we have a cliff built up in the back, we need to get up there, which is six. We need to get up another cliff, which is seven. We need to get down. Would that be eight and nine? And then maybe we need to go and get up to another incline here, which is 10. Okay, but it would, it could technically work. I don't know when was the last, like when the last time I maxed out my, my inclines was probably never, maybe like back when we only had eight. Um, but yeah, it could technically work. Or we also could just have the museum not on the highest cl a cliff. Nah, maybe it will be. I'm sorry. That's like a lot of going back and forth at the minute. I really apologize. I think that are um, like so far this is okay-ish. You know, if it continues further on over here and just connect to that tiny, just connect to that tiny like lookout cliff that we built over there uh, for the rock garden, that might be a nice like natural looking cliff shape. It that might be okay. Um, let's maybe get an incline right now. Uh, we'll get an incline and put that in here so that we can kind of see. On the next day, we can see Pate's house and um, and the incline builds. All right, um, I'm gonna go for the natural one again. I do really like this island, you know. And oh, actually, yeah, that's kind of cute. I do like this island a lot, you know, and I, I really enjoy working on it. And I think the, the the stuff that we've done so far is is very pretty. Wait, I was using the white wooden incline here. Oh, I was just thinking as I selected the bridges, I was like, or the incline, I was like, maybe I should have used like the blue and the white ones in this, in this, uh, on this island. Why have I not done that until now? I guess because this one is a sideways, right? This one is like a sideways incline, which doesn't look great. We could do that here though. Shall we change it? Shall we change our inclines when they're... And like th this one also, this one is kind of like hidden behind a cliff. So this could also be like a different one. Should we change those to like the wooden inclines? The white and blue wooden inclines? I have a feeling that could help the coastal, uh, the coastal vibes. Because the white wood is quite pretty. Okay, let's check this out. I did get the natural ramp. I want to just kind of show you what I plan here. Oh, great. You, like, don't even freaking see this. Is this a good spot? You know what? We'll implement it. You guys let me know, please, if you think that the wooden inclines would be better fit for this island, like the white and blue ones, or if you think we'd, we should stick with the natural ramps. Yeah, let me know that. Um, we can switch them out. I can just get money from, like, a treasure island, so, like, that's gonna not going to be an issue. Otherwise, I think the money would kind of throw me off. Um, but you know, that's okay. So, so feel free to let me know what you think would work best. But for now, we'll build this so we can actually see what this would look like. There's not that many spaces here, but I think it's okay. I think it is okay. Yeah, and then I mean this incline here, or like, I'm sorry. I keep mixing up like incline and bridge and cliff. But so this would also probably follow like the natural curve of, um... Off the downstairs cliff more or less not all the way over here but like maybe just until Ooh, i don't know let's do another curve here just like the one downstairs and then maybe it just has like a couple of details added on maybe it'll go out like this and one more 
and then it'll curve inwards and that's it. So there can hopefully still be some tree spots here, you know? So like this, and then maybe one more, and then it starts curving inwards again. So we can still kind of keep this open in case we want to have like that secret, secret little pass passageway to, uh, you know, be able to jump over the river just for, just for like a ease of, of Go, getting around flow of island. I don't know. What, sometimes it's 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 good. I just wanted to to speak partial partial uh, German. Great. Um, sometimes it's good to have these like secret passageways just for yourself. Like when you're working on the island, so you can get around a little bit easier. They don't necessarily help you too much, or or you know they can't really be used by like villagers or anything like that. But they're just kind of for you. You know, you are the one building your that your island probably this island. Um, so, so why not make it a little bit easier for ourselves, you know? Okay, we are definitely making this very cozy. I'm not sure I wanted these many, this many cliffs when I first started working on this island. But you know what? At this point, I'm okay with it. I, I might be okay with it. I might shape a little bit away um, here so this isn't as sharp and like protruding out to the front kind of like this. Because uh, I feel like that is quite a lot, but let's round everything and take a look at the shape on the map We would have to fill it in anyways, you know, so uh, we can still make changes So that would be the shape. Oh It's not bad though. Oh It's not bad though Yeah, we might keep it. I like the shape on the map. I do let that kind of dictate my uh, my decorating sometimes because I feel like most of the time, or or often, the map is like a good indicator about whether or not your your um, your landscaping, like your cliffs, or also your waterscaping, are kind of like natural looking, or if they have any rough edges or maybe like too repetitive shapes. Kind of, I feel like the map is kind of like a decent indicator of that. Um, and I generally, I don't know, I really use my map a lot when it comes to designing because I always have it turned on in the bottom right so I can always kind of see where I am on a map and I can kind of make changes that would help kind of the map look a little cuter as well. Not that it really matters, like your map, your map style is really not that important, um, but I do let that influence me. I have gone and like put like in-game pathing underneath certain things just to get a certain like pattern or to get the street to show up on the map so i can't say that it doesn't influence me because it absolutely does it really absolutely does okay so uh but if we get this to be filled in you know even though this was not the type of progress i had planned today i honestly don't mind it i think it is kind of cute i think it ended up kind of cute um, let me just maybe distribute a couple of vines. I always hopelessly um, overdo it with those. Like I feel like I always spread way too many vines. But that comes from my my overgrown loving heart. You know, I just can't help it. I absolutely just love overgrown islands, and so why not? <laughs> um, okay, we didn't include any more waterscaping here, but I think that's okay. I don't think we need to, right? Okay, let's put a vine here. I'm trying to hold myself back, but I just, I want to just plaster them everywhere. <laughs> I just want to put them everywhere. Every time there's like an angled one at least. Because that just helps like fill the space up even more. And I love that, you know? Okay. Let's just, let's just add a couple more. No one will know, right? It's gonna be fine. Oops. Totally fine. Kind of here, and then diagonal. See, I'm already like almost out. Those of you watching the Let's Play, you know, you might, I didn't finish my thought from before. I was gonna say, I like this island and I like decorating it and then I get distracted by the cliffs, uh, cliff scaping. Um, but yeah, I like this island and I really like de decorating it, but I do have a new, I have many new island ideas, but I do have one thing that I want to also, you know, specifically want to do for YouTube because it's going to be like a challenge. And I feel like those of you watching the Let's Play will probably also really like that idea. So I just am trying to to actually make some some progress here, you know? It's not that we're not. It's not that we're not. I just, I'm stressing. My mind is stressing and I can't really tell you why or tell it to stop, you know? Um... 
Okay, but you know what? This is actually not bad. I think we'll definitely have a bunch more cliff uh, shaped over here. And I think a lot of this will actually just stay on uh, on that level then so it's gonna be like even but then the entire neighborhood is kind of nestled into cliffs you kind of go in between to get there so you only see like Alice's house first you're like oh a house and you're like oh a neighborhood you know and then there's gonna be kind of like this this uh, area here like a decorated area here against some cliffs which is gonna be hopefully very cozy looking and they're gonna be like oh incline you know and then you climb up You'll climb up, hold on, you'll climb up, you'll be like, oh, wow, oh, I like they included this view, you know? That's gonna be you hopefully touring this island at some point in the future. You'll be like, oh, that's a good view of a neighborhood, let's go. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, it is, it, it is cute though, right? It's cute though. All right, standing here, let's time travel to the next day so we see the final results. Well, not really final, final, but you know, you get it, right? That is very cute. I am still not quite happy with my outfit, I think. Um, I like my hairstyle and I think I definitely wanna keep the eyebrows. I just might make them like a little bit lighter. Uh, I'm not sure about like my my uh, hat and dress combination and like the general like coastal vibes that I want. So if any of you have any feedback on that one or advice or whatever, feel free to put that in the comments. And I'd like to hear about the inclines for sure. And then I think apart from that, that's going to be it for today's video. I will hopefully see you again on Monday to start our full week of Let's Plays. And I think we will start right away with working on the farm, like fixing up the farm layout around Alice's house and finally decorating like the bits surrounding it, doing like a bunch of detail work on that and so on and so forth. And until then, I hope you all have an amazing time. Bye everyone.